Well, hello, I'm Matt Coyle from Team Coyle at Compass, and I'm here with my partner in crime, Ying Coyle. Hey, Ying, how you doing today? I'm doing good, Matt. How are you? I'm doing great. Hey, uh, so guys, today we're doing something a little different. We're shooting on Zoom, and uh, we'll see how this format works. In addition, we have slides we're going to go through, and I, I hope this is more uh, um, helpful and easier to follow than uh, our past videos. So uh, just buckle up and let's uh, let's see where this takes us. So Ying, what are we talking about today? Market update for Wellesley. A market update for Wellesley, Massachusetts. So what update would, on real estate would, would, would be any good without kind of an economic overview of what's going on in the economy? And the number one issue I think is inflation, which, we, we, which you and I have written articles on, uh, videos, uh, very topical uh, for real estate. Uh, the first thing I will say is uh, we've always made the argument and I think successfully that owning real estate is a good hedge against inflation. Um, however, there are side effects of inflation that could be detrimental to real estate values. And that's my next bullet point here, which is the Federal Reserve raising interest rates to basically effectively uh, curtail or destroy demand. Uh, in particular for housing. Uh, you know as well as I that the Fed has raised rates roughly 475 basis points since March of last year. And uh, they meet this March 21st, 22nd, to decide whether they're going to increase rates again. And there's probably a 99.9% .9 chance they're going to do that, uh, given that they've had concerns that the economy is still doing pretty good. Uh, last quarter, GDP was at 2.7%. Unemployment rate is still at 3.4 US, 3.7 Massachusetts. So overall, you know, the economic situation, uh, you know, is kind of mixed. Uh, the, the big wild card is inflation and what the Fed, how the Fed reacts to it. So do you have anything to add before I move on? We're good. Good. So this slide here is talking, just shows what interest rates have done over the last uh, over the last year. The red line represents the Fed fund rate. That's the key policy rate used by the Federal Reserve to increase or decrease interest rates. Again, since March of last year, the Fed has raised rates 475, 475 basis points. Expect further increases. How much and uh, how quick will depend on what inflation does. And inflation right now is at 6.4%, which is still pretty high. In terms of Wellesley real estate market, um, I think it's fair to say that activity for the year to date has been kind of slowing down. We see, we see, we'll see on the next slide that um, closed sales has been down uh, significantly from a year ago, and that the um, uh, number of people in the market has uh, has dwindled in terms of both inventory and demand. And that's, uh, and that's somewhat problematic. Uh, and so, so you'll be back around the sold time frame is actually back two months. So right now the market for the sold data was under contract basically January. Uh, we did say the market was, you know, because the winter, and just after Christmas, holidays, so January is slow. Um, but right now, I mean, if you really think about the activities, we did say uh, open houses have more people. We still see uh, buyers and the sellers on the market, more actually buyers on the market, because we do say the open houses has jam-packed. We do see multiple offers right now, a couple of weeks, you know, going um, through right now. So, but Definitely activity, you mean the sold um, numbers, home sold, right? Correct. So I think you're making a distinction, which I think is a good one, which in terms of actual numbers, it's definitely slowing down. But in terms of anecdotal, in terms of interest, buyer and seller interest in the market and being in the market, uh, we talked to brokers, agents, buyers and sellers. And there is a lot of interest out there. I think the wild card here is what we just talked about, inflation and how the Fed reacts. And uh, 
interest rates interest rates still um you know we expect to be to be uh be going up so that's gonna further choke off demand for lack of a better way of saying it uh which is uh which which will have an impact on prices but fortunately and we'll look at some data the wellesley market pricing although it slipped a little bit in the first uh, couple months of 2023 still at or near all-time time which is good and i think that speaks well of wellesley in general because it's just a great place to live um, there's a lot of uh, squares, Linden Square, which I'm looking at right now. Um, across the street, we have Wellesley Square, which is full of shops and restaurants. Um, and just the parks, community, school system, which our kids went to. Just an overall great place to live. And I think Wellesley, out of all the towns, probably is going to hold its market values for its homes very well, even if it, the market yep. slips into uh, a slower economy. I have uh, some buyers looking for home because they like the uh, distance close to Boston and safety, school system, uh, convenient. So all those factors made we also need quite attractive. Exactly, exactly. So on, on this slide, I just want to go over some quick data here. Um, and I broke this up into three sections. So the first one, just active current listings. So uh, the good news is listings are up. Uh, 84% this year at the same time as compared to the same time a year ago. Um, days on market though is, uh, is, is, is lengthening in terms of how long it takes to, to, uh, to get these things under contract. And that's largely due to the shrink, shrinkage of demand and the ability for buyers to now negotiate price and terms. It's become a more, um, I guess, familiar market, I would call it. Uh, where buyers and sellers have to negotiate versus a year ago, where sellers basically dictated price and terms. The second section here, listings, which went pending, which basically represents they're under agreement. Uh, they're down roughly about eight, nine percent. And um, I think that's just a, a sign of the market and the demand um, and inventory being uh, what it is today. But the last one and probably most telling, in my opinion, is closed sales, properties that actually sold. And that's down roughly 38, 39%. And um, that's a significant drop. And I think that's kind of where we are in the market. And we're going to talk about what we think is going to happen in spring in a second. But the good news about that is, though, price is still holding up. Year to date, price is only down 6%. And... Uh, coming off the last two years, that's not that much. We're still at or near all-time highs. Um, but we are seeing a change in the negotiation. I think you're seeing that in the sale versus list price. And you see that it was at 97%, meaning that prices, houses were selling at slightly below the list price uh, in 23 versus a year ago where they were slightly above the list price. And days of markets, roughly about 37 to 41 days. So. That's kind of where we are today. So a lot of, lot of signals out there. Um, we're hopeful that the market's gonna get better in the spring. We're cautiously optimistic. Uh, we know that there's a lot of buyers and sellers interested in being in the market. Uh, the real question is what we talked about is what is gonna happen with inflation and how is the Fed gonna react? If they react too fast and too, uh, too rashly, if you will, then we're in for um, a rocky road here. And I think you could see some more pressure on pricing. Uh, that said, I think of all the markets, I think Wellesley is going to hold up the best. I'm, they're still going to feel pain, but um, I think where we are, I think they're going to do on average better than, than some of the other townships that we, we actually sell and buy properties in. What do you think, Yang? I totally agree. Yeah, man. Well, good. I think that's a wrap. And um, hopefully you enjoyed this format. Please comment below if you like the way we're doing this with slides this time. And if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, send us a, an email and we'll be glad to uh, respond as appropriate. And feel free to share this information and uh, like, share and with your friends. Great. Thank you. Have a great day and talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.